Hi, I'm Dr. Will Mora, the Pure PRP Doctor, and I'm here today with one of my patients, Shirley, who has problems with her knees. She hurt her left knee about three years ago. It buckled when she went off the curb. It was a pretty bad injury. It swelled up. She came to see me and we did some prolotherapy injections. Those helped for the pain and over the next six months the knee improved um, but never got well. Um, then she injured her right knee and then we did prolotherapy for that. Again there was some pain relief um, and but now the two knees are running you know neck and neck they're they're not good but neither is worse than the other and um, so she went to see her orthopedic surgeon a year ago and, and what did he say um, did MRI and, and x-rays and said the knee was good the cartilage was good in the knees but um, some arthritis and torn meniscus and so his advice was to exercise and lose weight okay so um, you came back to see me because you uh, are interested in PRP. I think we want to try the next step and see if we can get further improvements in your knee function. Yeah, it's difficult to exercise when your knee hurts. That's right. You said you have a lot of trouble going up and, and downstairs. Going up and downstairs. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, we'll do some PRP today. Okay. So this is Shirley's left knee and we're going to take a look at it under ultrasound. So I have a portable ultrasound, musculoskeletal ultrasound, and so we're looking at her knee joint and what I can see is that she has a very small joint effusion which means there's some fluid around the knee joint and I can change the angle 90 degrees and take a look and I can see the fluid collection from a different angle. So this is what her knee joint effusion looks like under ultrasound. Um, this is the quadriceps tendon coming down attaching to the kneecap called the patella and this black area here is fluid and I can turn the ultrasound probe 90 degrees and then I could see her quadriceps tendon again, but if I come closer to the kneecap, I can see this fluid again. So we can use ultrasound to guide our injections. Uh, we can use the ultrasound needle to come in and enter this little fluid collection here. That's called the suprapatellar recess of the knee joint, and we can inject our uh, PRP or prolotherapy solution or whatever we're injecting um, right into the, the joint itself there. Okay, so we did our PRP injection today and what I did is I put the anesthetic and a homeopathic remedy into the knee to numb the knee and then we did the PRP injection medially because that's where her meniscal injury is in her left knee and um, we layered the PRP right in over the meniscus, medial meniscus. And then I'm having her sit here for about 15 to 30 minutes, at least 15 minutes, um, to allow the PRP to gel. And uh, we're gonna see how she does in three or four weeks. She's going on a trip. She's gonna be able to walk on this during her trip. It may be sore for a couple days, um, but then it'll start improving and we'll see maximum improvement in about three or four weeks and then we'll kind of go from there. So what was your experience today with it? How did it go? Um, something about the, uh, the, the anesthetic. anesthetic hurts worse as it hurts more. Than the injection itself? Yeah, you don't feel the injection. You don't feel it? Yeah, exactly. Pretty much. Yeah, a lot of people tell me that. Oh, good, good. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you very much. And is it okay um, if I post this yes. uh, video on my website or on YouTube? Yes. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay, well, have a good holiday. Have a good trip. Thanks.